Com. In tonight's Joseph in the Garden, Composting 101. Joseph shows us where to get it and how to make it. This week in Joseph in the Garden, I want to talk about soil. Now, if you're making a new garden, you're going to probably want to augment your soil with some compost. This is a mixture of steer manure, uh, mushroom compost, and also loam. Loam is a mixture of sand, silt, and clay, and it's put in to sort of hold everything together. Now, you can buy these individually. You can buy steer compost. You can buy mushroom compost, which is what they grow mushrooms commercially in. And also, you can buy the loam by itself to augment your soil. But I like to buy it mixed together like this all, already, and it runs you about 30 to $35 a yard. You can also, though, make your own with compost bins. Now, I have two compost bins, and they produce enough compost to supplement my soil here in my home garden. Compost requires four equal important things to work efficiently. That is carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and water. Now your carbon materials, think of brown and dry. These are materials like dried leaves, dried grass, straw, hay, or paper. And I use shredded paper. Nitrogen, think of green and wet, like fruit and vegetable waste from your garden or fresh cut grass from your lawn. Oxygen, of course, you need to have some air in your compost and water in the right amounts. Now, the watering, uh, you want it to be damp, but you don't want it to be so wet that you can squeeze water out of it. I add all the fruits and vegetable food waste from our house. I add shredded paper. And then every time I'm taking a pot and repotting it and getting rid of the old potting soil, I pour the old potting soil back into my composter. Every once in a while, I'll throw in some dried grass or some leaves, but for the most part, that's all I put in it. Now, some people turn their compost mixtures often. Now, I'm a little bit on the lazy side and I don't turn mine very often, but it still seems to work pretty good. It takes us about eight months to fill up our two composters. Once they get full to the top, all you got to do is open up the bottom and take out the compost that is finished and then distribute it throughout your garden. And then you start filling it back up from the top.